Right guys, Mark Crossfield here today testing PXG irons, so the 0311 against the TaylorMade PSI forged, so two forged irons. I would argue the PXI, because obviously there's another version of PXI, this is the more kind of helpful one if you like, but we're going to give these two a compare because I have got people asking me about these two clubs. I'm going to show you some real ball data, I've got my Titus Pro V1X balls, we're in the golf cave here at Honiton Golf Club. Let's show you PSI forged, tailor-made against PXI forged. Um, let's get stuck in. Right guys, so the two irons, you get slots o'clock on PSI 4s, one on the bottom, two on the face. Um, you get a medium to slimmer top line on the, or well, it's quite a slim top line I should say on the forged here, medium to thin sole, very nice little squat blade length design. To be honest with you, PSI 4s is a very good looking kind of players club as people would call it. I can imagine a lot of low handicappers and obviously they're better players, they're staff players wanting to use that. You've got the slots on this club to try and keep the face as hot as possible when you start moving away from CG sweet spot strikes is the ideas. Um, forged for um, feel and looks, or not looks, feel really off the face is going to be there. Sound more than anything else. PXG, you get changeable weights on the back, so you get these kind of bolts in there with their quite famous, it's almost like their trademark signature. Slightly more weighted towards the toe, and this one, like I say, this is definitely a slightly more friendly version out of the two clubs, really, even PSI, which we'll do at some point. PSI straight would be maybe a, a complete true comparison, but I like the fact that both of these are selling kind of like a forged idea. Um, I think I'm hitting the tailor-made first. Um, PSI, tailor made, seven irons in each. Let's give them a hit, see what kind of numbers we get out of them. Down by the ball, next to no offset, PSI force does look lovely. So that's a bottom strike. It's going to stay straight, but it's going to be weak with more spin. Caught that near the bottom. So that's one, four, seven. Spinning up at 7,700, I think that was. 7,700 revs, bottom strike, always going to spin a bit more. Hit that one better. Oh, that could hit the line. Oh, it's left. I've got my name written all over that line. Uh, 155 carry with this kind of lofted club, that's what, and um, that's spinning down. If we just bring that spin back up, what was that spin? Uh, is that 4.8? Yeah, four eight. The spin there, um, six eight. Is it? Sorry, I can't see it. So when they're like six eight, so not far off. Or better strike. So that's what you get with PSI and the Forge clubs over some of their other models. You get more truer spin models, which is why the distance often is truer as well. Let's give it one more hit. Yeah, and hit that. Not bad. Just pushed it slightly. Not too bad on the strike, should be about 153 again, uh, 152, and that one is spinning at 7.3, so averaging 7.2 on the spin with a 7 iron. From the gaming, the clubs I tend to game, much more chunkier, kind of friendlier irons you could argue. Um, uh, you'll be, I'll be dropping the spin down in the 4000s, which is where often the distance will come from. So PXG, forged. I think PSI wins on looks over PXG, but like I say, I think if you put the PSI non-forged next to this, there wouldn't be much in it. Um, it's a medium top line, a little bit more bulbous on the sole in the PXG, which is there to try and manoeuvre, I think, the sweet spot, centre gravity into the right place, they say. Uh, I like the look of PXG um, in this model. It's not the most stunning club ever, but it's fine. It looks very functional. And what I love with the PXG, it feels unbelievable. It does, it has an amazing feel to it, a different sound, uh, and it does feel very good. So that's 167. Let's try that again. That's definitely a bit further. What was the spin on that one? Can we just bring the spin back up? Uh, 61. So it's slightly lower in the spin, launching at 18 degrees. So it's launching lower, uh, around 2018 with PSI forged. 18 with this one and spinning a little less peaking height the same so it's peaking the same that little bit less spin is going to make a big difference and 
go and hit that one okay, a little heely, but I'll take it, slightly pushed. So again, seven iron for me there, one, six, two, spinning at six, seven. Oh, lost the ball, one more. I do love the feel of the PXG. There is something quite unique about it. Yeah, and hit that one quite nicely. Oh, get on that line, just a little left. And again, that one's out there, 160 something, I think. Yeah, 166, if we just bring up the data there. I mean, for me out of those two, I'm good. PSI Forged is a really slim, good players looking club. PXG 0311 for me is a little bit more friendly. Um, I'm getting a little bit more yardage out of it, 164 to 151, so a lot of extra yardage. I'd be interested, I'll put the lofts up if I find them of both of these two clubs, as I don't know the actual lofts of these, um, so it might be coming out of that. Um, I'm also getting considerably less spin on PXG, which I'd expect because it's got centre of gravity is a bit lower. Like I say, there is a more bladed version of PXG, which would be, I think would probably deliver similar numbers if I can get my hands on it. Hopefully I can try it. Um, interesting. Out of me, uh, for those two for me, I think you're, people who want the classic, classic looks would definitely go for the forged. I think if you want a mixture of decent looks, um, great feel. So sound and things off the PXG irons are amazing when you hit them. It's like nothing I've hit before. It's quite unique, not what you're expecting. Um, and a bit of distance as well. I mean, PXG does kind of tick all the boxes I need in an iron. Post comments down below. I'd love to hear what you think of the two. I know they're not direct, direct comparisons, but lots of people have been asking for these two. Um, post comments, as always, love to hear what you've got to say. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.